Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India As a third example we will discuss this one let x and y be independent exponential distributed random variables with parameters lambda and mu respectively. define capital U that is nothing but minimum of x comma y and V is nothing but maximum of the random variables x comma y and the third random variable capital N that is defined as it takes a value 0 if x is less than or equal to y, it takes a value 1 if x is greater than y. So, using the two random variables x and y, we have defined three random variables u, v, and n. Our interest is to find, find the probability of capital N takes a value 0 and what is the probability of capital N takes a value 1. Fine. The second we are interested to find out the probability of n takes the value 0 and capital U takes a value greater than some t that t is greater than 0. So, let us go for finding the second one first then we will find out the probability of x equal n equal to 0 and the probability of n is equal to 1. So, let us start with the first the event n is equal to 0 and capital U takes a value greater than t that is exactly the event of t less than capital X less than or equal to capital Y the event n is equal to 0 and capital U greater than t that is same as t less than x less than or equal to y. Therefore, the probability of finding n takes a value 0 and u takes a value greater than t that is same as probability of x takes the value t t less than x less than or equal to y. that is same as that is same as the double integration with the t less than x less than or equal to y of the joint probability density function of x and y. Since x and y are independent random variable the joint probability density function is product of marginal probability sorry this is e power minus mu y dy dx. So, the probability of 
t less than x less than or equal to y that is same as the double integration t less than x less than or equal to y of uh, integrant is uh, lambda times e power minus lambda x mu times e power minus mu y dy dx that is same as the inner integral becomes uh, x to infinity mu times e power minus mu y dy then lambda times e power minus lambda x integration with respect to x between the limits t to infinity that is same as now the inner integration you can integrate and you can substitute the limit x and infinity if you simplify you will get t to infinity e power minus mu x then multiplied by lambda times e power minus lambda x dx if you do the integration the interior integration you will get e power minus mu x then the remaining things are as it is that is same as you can keep lambda by lambda plus mu outside this becomes integration from t to infinity of lambda plus mu times e power minus lambda plus mu x dx you know how to do the integration for this if you simplify you will get the answer that is lambda divided by lambda plus mu times e power minus lambda plus mu times t so this is the result for probability of n takes a value 0 and u takes a value greater than t where t is greater than 0 similarly you can work out the probability of n takes a value 1 and u takes a value greater than t that will be mu divided by lambda plus mu multiplied by e power minus lambda plus mu times t so with this the part second part is over now we have found the probability of n is equal to 0 and uh, u greater than t also we got the probability of n is equal to 1 and u greater than t now we will go for finding the first result but before that we can find what is the probability of u greater than t also that is nothing but finding out the probability of n is equal to 0 and u greater than t plus the probability of n takes a value 1 and u greater than t that is the way you can find out the probability of u greater than t you know the result if you add you will get the result that is e power minus lambda plus mu times t that is the meaning of a, the minimum of two random variable takes a value greater than t that is e power minus lambda plus mu times t you can find out the probability of a n is equal to 0 in using probability of n is equal to 0 and u is greater than 0 the t is greater than or equal to 0 therefore probability of n is equal to 0 that you can compute from probability of n is equal to 0 and u is greater than 0 that means you substitute t equal to 0 in the previous result you will get a probability of n is equal to 0 so that is nothing but if you recall probability of n is equal to 0 
and uh, u greater than t that is lambda divided by lambda plus mu e power minus lambda plus mu t here the t can be greater or equal to 0. So, substitute t equal to 0 that will give probability of n is equal to 0. Therefore, this this will become lambda divided by lambda plus mu. Similarly, you can find out the probability of n is equal to 1 in probability of n is equal to 0 and uh, probability of n is equal to 1 and u is greater than 0 or you can find out probability of n is equal to 1 by making 1 of a probability of n is equal to 1 minus probability of n is equal to 0. So, two ways you can find the probability of n is equal to 1. So, here I am using 1 minus probability of n is equal to 0 that will be mu divided by lambda plus mu. So, in this problem even though we asked only two things, but here we have got probability of n is equal to 0, probability of n is equal to 1, also probability of u is greater than t. If you observe, if you observe probability of n is equal to 0 and u greater than t that is same as probability of n is equal to 0 multiplied by probability of u greater than t. Similarly, we will get the observation probability of n is equal to 1 and u greater than t that will give probability of n is equal to 1 multiplied by probability of u greater than t. So, hence n and u are independent random variables. So, this example is uh, useful in uh, birth death processes. Therefore, I am explaining this problem as a illustrative example. 